Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, My Journey into Data Science, where we talk to distinguished people working in the field of data science and ask them questions related to their transition, their hiring process, and what advice do they have to data science aspirants. And today we have with us Sayani Nag, who is the General Manager of Data and Analytics Solutions at Aditya Billa Group. She is a postgraduate in economics and has close to 13 years of experience in analytics for banking, retail and manufacturing. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? So my role is general manager at Aditya Birla Group. I'm part of the group data and analytics cell where I'm the practice lead for two major engagements in fashion retail of Aditya Birla Group and their fiber manufacturing business. So which means that I take care of all the data science requirements, delivery, uh, overall digital engagement uh, for them. Could you describe your transition from an economics background to an analytical one? Data science or analytics is a technical field. I had no coding skills till that point. Like we used to solve statistics on pen and paper. Okay, so and like uh, complex problems. So coding was something that I was actually um, joining and I was being mentored by somebody who was leaving for a maternity leave. And there was a few days left before she was going on her maternity leave and I had to take transition from her with zero knowledge about coding. So I learned SQL coding uh, in three, four days, basic of course. So, but because I think I was driven, it was like do or die kind of a situation that I needed to prove myself. I did not have anything else to look, fall back on. So I learned SQL coding in a week so that at least uh, the basic stuff I could do, I could manage things without her. And uh, the industry was very, very big on SaaS at that point of time. And I started learning SaaS. And I learned SaaS, uh, like I used to I remember because it was a bank, we used to have five, uh, five and a half days a week. So Saturday was a half day. I would even go back to the office on Sundays just to practice coding. And that's how I had spent my first year, you know, and that has been like, that has really helped me, you know, set myself up in terms of the, in the technical sense of the term like in among the technical capabilities rather because I, I did not come from a coding background I, it, economics per se is not really a technical field like that there's a lot of mathematics and statistics which really helped so i think that that investment i focused 100 percent in my career at that point trying to pick up new things took help from wherever possible if you were to hire a data scientist for your team, what would be the skill sets that you would look for? I think the first thing actually is, actually there are two major things that I look for. First is the attitude. Okay, you need to have a good attitude. Like when I say a good attitude, it means that humility. I think humility goes a long way. Secondly, the, hung, like the hunger to learn new things the hung, hunger to do more things. So I think that from an attitude perspective, I think that's very, very crucial because technical aspects, even if somebody is lacking something, those could be uh, addressed through trainings and stuff like that. But if somebody has an attitude issue, that is a much, much difficult problem to solve. So that's one thing. Second is I see uh, the way they think. So analytical way of thinking. So if I give a very generic problem for them to solve and that's usually my interviewing style, I would give them a sort of a case study which would be solved in like 5-10 minutes or so verbally, no calculations needed but majorly understanding the way they're approaching the problem. So that analytical way of thinking is something that I look for. Uh, coding skills, those are part of uh, the interview process anyways. There are some some level of coding skills obviously is required but these are the major two things if somebody has them i think rest of the things can close what advice would you give to today's data science aspirants so either there are two ways to grow your career uh, in data science i think either you become a subject matter expert in a very deep topic and you go deeper and deeper and you become an expert and, but that topic needs to be something which is expanding in terms of demand in the market as well. The other way is to 
uh, expand yourself breadth wise so like doing different types of things so that you have a general idea you become a generalist rather than and uh, like a sme sort of a role you become a generalist you get a holistic picture you understand how things work and another very important thing i think which has helped is that when we talk uh, when we work in a technical profile uh, we tend to focus only on the modeling part okay what we miss out at times and this has happened with me earlier in my career and i quickly corrected it as well is that you need to understand how is it going to be consumed so there is a part which comes before and there is a part which comes after so it's like absolutely understanding that entire pipeline you don't have to actually know how to do it but the knowledge of how it all comes together that really helps thank you so much for being a part of this video and with that we come to the end of this conversation don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career see you soon bye